very good morning students today we are going to study chapter 3 in social studies locating places it is on page number 12 you all can take out page number 12 and we'll start reading and understanding the very first thing we read in this chapter is directions directions are very important to locate places we usually visit different places, for example, malls, hospitals, shops, library, temple, park, or any relevant. So, the most important thing when we get out of our house is to know the direction. School jane ke liye kaun se direction mein murna hai? Shop jane ke liye kaun se direction mein murna hai? Right? To get to the right place, we should know the so directions. So, children, there are four major directions north south east and west they remain in the, the help map of sun we locate these directions we know that sun rises in the east and sets in the west so with the help we of can sun, locate that to the left is north and to the right is south right so these are the four can you see the image of this boy standing in your book children he is showing the four major directions through the sun a part of these four directions you also have northeast southeast southwest and northwest as in between north and east comes northeast in between east and south comes southeast in between south and west comes southwest and in between north and west comes northwest okay so in between directions are also sublocated. Next, we have the compass. It is the direction indicator. It is an instrument used for indicating directions. Mainly used by the marine people. People who travel by ships to locate their direction because there is water all so over. So, they don't understand which direction they go, which direction they go. So, for that, they use the the compass. compass always points towards the north direction so that we can locate the other directions easily. Our next topic is map. A map is a drawing on a paper outlining the details of particular place, a state, country or city. Okay. So with the help of maps, we can easily locate places where we are in. Right? हम किसी भी जगह हो हमें पता होगा कि कहां जाना है कहां से निकलना है कहां को पहुंचना है for right? example this is a map of india in the north comes jammu kashmir delhi right himachal pradesh in the south there's kerala tamil nadu karnataka okay in the west comes gujarat rajasthan and in the east comes West Bengal, Charkhand, Bihar. So, with the help of these okay. four directions, we can easily locate places. Like we live in Uttar Pradesh, so it is in north. It's easy. Next, atlas. A book of map is called as an atlas. So, together, all together, when we keep all the maps of the world in a book all together, that we call it as an atlas. Atlas. Next, a sketch. Sketch is rough drawing of map on a paper. When you roughly draw a map on a paper, it is called Next, as a sketch. landmark. Easily recognized place or a thing is called as a landmark. For example, Vandana Suites. Agar aap bologi ki mera ghar elite pe hai Vandana Suites ke paas. Okay? To Vandana Suites kya hua? Aapka landmark. A place, a landmark to locate your house. A nearby landmark. Next, symbol. A symbol is a sign representing a landmark. Can you see this Jhansi sign? Yes. Whenever you're about to reach back home from any out of station place you are in, you search for this Is sign. sign ka matlab hai ki aap apne city wapis a chuke ho. Jhansi a gaya hai. Right? So, this is the use of symbols. Next, plan. Plan is an outline drawing of a small area. 
it can be of shopping complex okay whenever you go to malls you see a plan a plan has been put in front first to locate shops shops that are inside the mall jab aap mall jaate hain tab aapko ek plan milta hai ki kaun si shop kahan pe hai yes usse aap pata karte hain ki aapko jana kahan hai kis direction mein jana hai this is the use of plan so children this is it with the chapter we have completed the chapter and i hope you all have understood it very well in case of any doubts you can ask me you all can start reading the chapter and understanding by yourself thank you